So yesterday, Sony announced the much rumored uh, super slim PlayStation 3. We have the very first one here in the UK and we are gonna unbox it just for you. Now, obviously, we love our unboxing videos here at IGN and uh, the thing I'm most excited about is, is actually seeing one of these. Obviously, we've been talking about it for a long time. I, I, is it real? Well, yes it is and uh, here's what you get in the box. Let's start off. One of the old cables, which is the, the kind of uh, composite cable. You still don't get an HDMI cable with this, which is crazy. Ethernet cable. Power cable. DualShock 3. No surprises here. But here's where we get onto the main business, which is the PS3 Super Slim. So Luke will help me out. Let's get it out. Egg containers. In the egg container. Now let's see what this is all about. So the first thing you kind of see is Ooh, corrugated top. A corrugated top, which is I don't know. It's different. I'm not sure that I like it all that much. As you know, I don't hate it, but it's not as kind of sleek and stylish, I guess, as the the previous two PlayStation threes. Um, it is obviously a lot smaller. Um, you've still got two USBs on the front. Uh, unlike the, the original fat PS3 that I had four, but the, the last Slim had two. Uh, but the big difference, I guess, is that it's actually a top-loading machine now rather than a slot-loading machine at the front. Um, so we're going to plug it in and we'll try it out and we'll show you what that looks like in a minute. If you come around to the back, you've got your Ethernet cable switch, HDMI, optical in and out, the uh, uh, AV in and out, and of course the power. Mm. So kind of no real surprises uh, in terms of the, the connectivity. Um, moving around to the side, little PlayStation logo there. Let's peel off this piece of tape and see what happens when we do that. Whoa! So, as you can see, that's what the new uh, loading system looks like. It's, you know, obviously it's mechanical rather than, uh, you know, the kind of touch uh, interface that you have with the previous two PlayStation 3s. Uh, one thing that uh, actually Sony mentioned to me is that uh, it's potentially slightly louder than the old Slims or, or, wow. or the fatter purely because the disc is nearer to outside space. It's not buried deep within the actual unit. It's right on top and you've only got this thin layer of plastic between you and the disc. So we'll check that out and see if the sound is any louder. So let's try it with the game in there. See if it uh, is any louder than the previous Slims. It's probably slightly louder, but it's definitely not really ear-shattering. I, I, if this is tucked away underneath your television, I can't imagine it's going to get on your nerves. In terms of actual size, well... <laughs> in terms of actual size, we've got the PS3 Slim here, and as you can see, it's actually quite a lot smaller. Um, it's a lot shallower. Uh, in terms of depth, it's probably about the same. You know, uh, Can I just compare the two in terms of weight? Yeah. It's definitely lighter. Not that that makes a massive difference to me. Well, you know, they've, they've said, haven't they, that this is, that's 25% less in terms of weight and 20% less in terms of volume. Right. Which is how I measure my consoles. Absolutely. As well. yeah. uh, but compared to this beast of a console, <laughs> which yeah. obviously, you know, is, is many, many years old. Wow, that is really a heavy console. <laughs> um, it's a lot, lot smaller. Um, I guess the big... You know, the sad thing here is that it's still not PlayStation 2 compatible. This yeah. one was, obviously, when it came out all those years ago. But if you want PS2 games, this is not the console for you. I'd suggest going to buy a PS2 off eBay. Um, but what are your thoughts, Luke? Obviously, first time you've seen it. Yeah, it was pretty nice. I mean, I that was the console I had from launch up until literally about a month ago when it yellow-lighted on me. Literally just got this one about two weeks ago. <laughs> and now today this has been announced, which is just... Outstanding, um, but I don't know. I mean, it it looks nice. I mean, this is this is the five hundred gig model, um, which is the one that's available in both uh, Europe, in, well, in Europe, Australia, and the US. Um, other ones are they vary, um, and yeah, no, I mean, it's nice. It's small. It looks cheaper, but I guess it it is cheaper. So one thing that's strange is that if you open the console when it's laid flat, the top pings open, rather like a kind of eighties piece of technology, like proper kind of old school, like a typewriter. Like a typewriter. Whereas if you stand it up on its end and you open it, it's smooth. Which it looks a lot better. I don't know why that is, 
Maybe that's gravity, but uh, I don't know. I guess my main concern about this is the actual, the lid itself just feels pretty cheap. It literally is just a piece of plastic that slides along the edge. There's nothing fancy about this. Very, very lo-fi. So that is the PlayStation Super Slim. It's coming out next week. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank <laughs> you.